Hello guys, in this video I want to show you a tool to document your projects, to create the documentation page with the search, with sections and subsections. I was in search for such a tool for a long time for our quick admin panel because we had a page for documentation, it looked like this. It was okay, but it was built manually without any search, without pretty design and it was okay. But I knew it could be improved with some tool and I found it, gitbook.com. And it is actually free, or at least I haven't touched any features that would be premium for me, so I didn't pay for that. But I already published the documentation. So there is a public page. Here it is, help docs cook in panel com already published, it's already working. So you can click around. And this is the process how you create the documentation visually. Actually, it's just an editor, pretty similar to medium.com if someone wrote an article there. So you have a simple editor, you can add paragraph or some other element, or for example, you can add a hint or a table or image or a quote or something like that. It's actually targeted for documentation writing, so not too much stuff, but hint, for example, is really important for some notices, for some important changes with exclamation mark. Let's delete it for now. And how it works actually, why is it called git book? Because it works kind of like a git. So you edit those changes and for now they are not public. When you do want them to be public, you click save first. So you save your edit, it's kind of like git commit. And then when you want them to become public, they are not public yet. When you want them to become, you click merge. And then they are compiled and that URL help docs quick admin panel com contains the newest changes. Also, what I liked is import from HTML. So those pages from the past were in HTML. You can also import from HTML, from Markdown, from GitHub. So for example, you click new, you click import, and here are your options. Even Notion is here, wow. And I've done import from HTML and it worked really well. What it didn't import was YouTube videos, so I had to do that manually and some minor things. But for the most of it, it worked really well. And speaking of YouTube videos, let me show you another feature. So I have a help document about customization of data tables and look what happens if you try to paste the link here. Let's take a link from our blog about data tables, some article. You just copy the link, paste in here, click enter, and it becomes a pretty block with the link and the thumbnail. Also, see what happens if I add YouTube video, for example. I've prepared a YouTube video also on data tables. I paste the link. Ta-da! It's an embed from YouTube. And actually, I plan to do that anyway, so I click Save and click Merge. And now if I go to Help Docs, refresh some page, and go to that page data tables customizations as you can see this one is present and YouTube video is also present. Two more things to mention uh, the subdomain so help docs quick admin panel com it's really easy to add your subdomain so you create your subdomain in your wherever you manage your domain and then you add a C name from help docs quick admin panel com to their something.gitbook.com and that's it it starts working. And finally, you can easily add the analytics. So Google Analytics, you just need to add the code of UA-something, the number of your Google Analytics property. And then you have this. So from the day I actually published, now I can see how many users visit the page and which page exactly. So I can even see behavior, site content, all pages. So which pages are popular. They have their own analytics and search analytics but you can also use this one. Oh, and almost forgot the main thing, the search. That documentation is searchable, so you don't need any external tool like Algolia or building your own search. You just go here, or actually let's go to the compiled version and you enter, for example, API, and it shows all the pages about API, about generally our generator and passport and all of that stuff. And you can click on that and it will land on the specific page and specific title. If that title is heading one, I think, or heading two, something like that. And it also actually builds the table of contents of headings in each page. And that search is actually then viewable. You can view the search in analytics. So there is a search 
tab and you can see what was searched, how many times and stuff like that. So not sure if you are impressed as much as I am, especially since it's for free. Well, it's not free, but in my case, for example, I don't see anywhere here button to upgrade or limited features or something like that. I just use that, it works, and I didn't pay. Maybe it's a bug on their side actually, but uh, not sure. Uh, in general, their pricing is quite affordable even if you go to the user of premium plan. And that's actually one feature which would be premium is the team. So if you want to have a team on the document, then you should pay. And with that, they position themselves, uh, Gitbook, not only as documentation writing, but team collaboration tool. So you can have private internal document for your own developer team. And that plan should start at $40 a month. But if you have bigger team, it's totally affordable. So I totally recommend. Check that out, gitbook.com. And that's it. See you guys in other videos.